Uh, hello, cadets. Hold on. Give me a sec. I got to bring up the internet again. And I got to tweak this manually because, like... <sighs> Streamlabs has been messing up lately. Uh, with the description. <coughs> oh, can't be helped. That it does that. I will admit <coughs> this misunderstanding oh, of, has got me a bit shooken up. But it doesn't deter me from my original series. And I'm coming up with... And it's got me a, just a bit shooken up. To understand what I'm talking about, uh, the series is Seed Next Gen Candidates. Now, this is a series to open up doors. Uh, because, like, obviously there's a lot of VTs out there that don't know I exist. There's some that do, some that don't. Uh, Yumiko was one of them. VTs out there that don't know. And she didn't know I was a streamer. She doesn't know I'm a VT, a male VT. Uh, she doesn't know I'm an animator. She doesn't know I'm a content creator. She doesn't know that I'm a video editor, a streamer, a male VT, yada yada this, yada yada that. Uh, the bit of an issue, right? Uh, this is what happens when fans take things out of context. No, oh, this episode is called, hold on, like, allow me to bring it up here in a second on my YouTube channel because I had to upgrade the description because you people can't get your mind out of the fucking gutter. And it really pisses me off. Hello everyone, you're probably wondering what the heck is going on. I gotta go to my channel, go into the thing, and hold on. I'd like to clear up this whole misunderstanding. I'm going to go into full explanation mode about this animation. We're gonna go into full explanation mode to explain what the hell is happening. Now, obviously, this is a huge misunderstanding. You people need to get your minds out of the fucking gutter. When you see a male or VT doing an animation like this, y'all can't help but think, oh, something sus is going on. Nothing sus happened in this animation. Nothing sus happened in this animation. You people piss me off. So I had to upgrade the update the description of the events that happened after this unique animation because you people can't and overall stop literally putting your mind in the freaking shadow realm of the horny disaster zone. The freak is wrong with you people. So let's go in the full explanation mode. So first off, this series is meant to open up windows because a lot of VTs don't know I'm a male VT, all right? Now, obviously, this whole misunderstanding is because of all the people that want to see me canceled. And they're spreading lies Rumors, deceit, disgusting ideas that really piss me off. This is also supposed to be an original series. 
that does not take the official model, but an image of an older model. So let's get started of the guest while also using a voice changer. Because I can't hire a whole bunch of actors that literally take over more than a million dollars to hire for. God damn. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, seat candidate uh, 23. Yumiko the brigade leader? Why is she joining? Why am I interviewing a VTuber? You know what? Never mind. Let's get this on with. So, Next candidate. Interviewing a VTuber to join a military organization that is meant to help defend the universe. There is nothing horny about that. This was the whole purpose of the video. Candidate. Yumiko, the brigade leader, come forth. Hey there, cowboy. How's it going? Yumiko's the name. I heard this gig is for a date. <laughs> okay, so y'all know anything about Yumiko? She's very dense. Her character's very dense. If not, not very bright. You know, she's not very smart in the head. So, of course, she would get her wires crossed, thinking, oh, this is an interview for a date, instead of an interview for her uh, being hired by a mercenary military force. No offense, but you're not exactly one of my type. But I'm really to make an exception for you, Tiger. Uh, you do know this is an interview that joins Seed Next Gen Ops, right? It's not for a date. Um, exactly. I I'm put it right there. I'm in a relationship with Rachel, and this is awkward. It doesn't have to be awkward there, cowboy. As a matter of fact, no man shouldn't have just one woman, especially someone like you. Plus, no, I can see where this is where y'all went with the horny with her, right? Believe it or not, Yumiko's character, not very smart. She She's a lewd tuber. She's a lewd tuber. So I was playing into that lewdness that she does from time to time. While also being incredibly dense, and some, uh, it's overall not very smart. An interview for C Next Gen Operations? No, I told this is an interview for a day. Eight, not that. A little strange if you ask me. Maybe I got the wrong information? Number one, this is an interview. Number two, this is not a dating show. Exactly. Late night one. Number three, I would never cheat on my girl. And number Bet four, if I had one in real saw life, a Yumiko, but you got your wires crossed so hard. Right there, right there, so oh, dead I can be. I get what you're saying. I'm not good enough, am I? So a Nico Wolf girl's not good enough for you? But uh, that an artificially created killing machine is better. That's Rachel, by the way. What the hell is wrong with you? Overall, I thought you were into the wild child. Oh, hell Seriously? No. And right there, you're gonna call my girl out like that? You're gonna dead give away. Yumiko, you're cute and everything. But this interview has come to an end. Uh, you are not qualified at this moment in time. Check, please. Seriously. The meal. So she wasn't qualified due to her mental state, to her, her physical prowess, to her weapon skills, and even that of her strategic mindset. Four big reasons why she failed the test. Why she didn't make it? Because of those four reasons, and she was rejected. I was interviewing her to let her know she was rejected from the force that she applied for and she didn't even realize it. I was even kind enough to do the next thing in this animation. It was on me, Yumiko. Have a it nice day. 
That when she literally ran oh, my wallet. This ain't over. I'm done yet. Rachel's restaurant Get back Rachel here, Tiger. We ain't done until I say we're done. No, you don't mind. I got a heart to steal. Along with that, maybe something a little bit more intimate. And when she says heart to steal, like I can see where y'all people also took that away. Yeah, a little bit too far. Maybe that's on me. And maybe it was something a little bit more intimate. Probably y'all should have took that as, oh, maybe something that means a lot to him. In other words, maybe running off with a credit card or some shit like that. Don't get me started. We'll be here all day. Oh. I ain't done with him yet. Oh, Commander, you want a sparring session? I can give you one. So, sparring session can be taken in several different directions. I can see where y'all people literally got your wires crossed again. Oh, this sparring session was a self-defense class. In other words... She was looking for combat. You can hear the battle music revving up. There was nothing horny about this situation. It was a battle theme, meaning she wanted to fight. Greatly, Rachel put her down and knocked her the fuck out. After she tried to go after me, after running a $300 restaurant bill. That she did not pay for, I paid for out of kindness. Fair enough. That's a problem. <laughs> and of course, the psychotic laugh should have been enough to tell you there was maybe something a little wicked. Not horny. Wicked. There's a difference. Oh my god, you people are such fucking failures. Why is everything horny with you idiots? I'm not a lube tuber. Let me make it clear. Male VTs cannot be lube tubers. It's against the rules of VTubing. I know that. I've known that for quite a couple of months now. <sighs> you people are so insufferable. Y'all can't even tell what's supposed to be a battle scene from an overall love act. And an interview of letting her know she didn't make it. Do I make myself clear, cadets? This series is supposed to be funny, not lewd. I go with stagnated images that do not move to avoid copyright claim bullshit. This all started... Because of one manager. That Miss Yumiko. Has. That literally contacted me on Twitter slash X. And uh, told me that. Uh, some inappropriate shit was happening. No. There is nothing lewd about this animation. As a matter of fact, I'm going to let this woman know. Her manager, I'm going to let her know. That this was a huge fucking misunderstanding. And I'm live streaming right now about it.
I'm live streaming right now about this misunderstanding. Get your mind out of the fucking gutter. There was nothing horny about uh, the uh, uh, live stream. Oh God, I'm so out of video. Your employees got a rotted brain, and my followers are even more rotten. Yeah. So this whole misunderstanding has got me so freaking ticked. This huge horny misunderstanding has pissed me off. Get your minds out of the gutter. The fuck is wrong with you people? I tell you what's wrong. The Steam users on Steam really spreading lies and misinformation about uh, yours truly. Pisses me off. I have banned the, these people that have been spreading lies and rumors about me on my Steam, on my Discord, my public Discord, my overall Twitter slash X account, my Facebook, my YouTube, my Twitch streams. How many times do I have to ban all of you to make y'all realize that y'all are literally not doing anything worthwhile? That you're only causing an absolute chaos. You know nothing of my content and my career choice. These individuals that are causing me so much strive and pain only have one thing on their mind. Kill, 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 cancel, 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 graduate, graduate, graduate. Motherfuckers. Get a life! I realize there's two backgrounds now. So, with that out of the way, I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna apply myself. I suggest you do the same, cadets. These horny allegations need to stop. The fuck is wrong with you assholes? <sighs> Stop causing me trouble. Am I clear? The streams come to a close. I'll see y'all on the next planet. I'm outie.